Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got this Clutch Powers Battle Pack set in the mail on Thursday and I built it on live stream too. And I definitely wanted to take a look at this set and review it. This video will be 100% spoiler free, so if you're worried about spoilers or trying to avoid them, this video should be safe. I'm just going to take a look at the minifigures and the little build to just share my thoughts on it and pretty much go over all the little details. But pretty much we'll start on the left here with our Kai minifigure. A lot of fans are complaining that we got a Legacy Kai rather than a Season 11 Kai, and I can support this too somewhat. I mean, I think it would have been a nice idea to have given us a Season 11 suit too, but I don't think it's bad really. I just, I personally care more about getting these new villains rather than ninja suits. But we did get some Season 11 elements. Now, just my own thoughts on the Legacy suit. This one in particular, I was never too much of a fan of. It's just very simple and I tend to prefer more complex suits. I was never too much of a fan of this Legacy suit. I like the Legacy suits as a whole, but this one just never really felt like it was too special. Now, the shoulder armor for this Season 11 wave. And yeah, we are getting the Season 11 shoulder armor, and it just looks amazing. I really like what they've done with the shoulder armor. I like this little snowflake-like design there, and it's a pretty broad shoulder pauldron. It covers a lot of area there. And even the back, this little sheath to hold the sword, and I like the straps that are supposed to go around it. And they are reusing the Legacy Hood, too. I definitely like the Legacy Hood. And I also like the idea to print these symbols on the Legacy Hood, too, on this headband. So all in all, I think it's a good idea, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they work with the Season 11 suits. Now next we have Clutch Powers minifigure, and I knocked Kai down there. We'll just move Kai back there. And Clutch Powers minifigure is exclusive to the set, and it's pretty good for the most part. It's, again, a very simple minifigure, but I think that it is effective in kind of showing what Clutch Powers is all about. Now, he has two faces, which we'll go over soon. And this one is his eye patch there. He also does have the same hair mold that the original Lloyd design had, except, of course, this one is in black. He wields a whip, which I don't really think speaks too much to his character, but I like the facial hair and all the little details we got on this minifigure. It just looks really cool. Now, we'll take a look at his other side, and this here is his other side. I like that we also got this face, too, to show that, to kind of confirm that he does actually have an eye. The eye patch is just kind of for show. And the back of this torso, too, this is the only printing on the back. I like the whole CP idea of just labeling his initials there. Kind of shows who he is. And I also love these little details. You can see these little lines there and the patchwork and stuff. All in all, it looks really cool. He comes with this utility belt too. Skylar in Season 9 had this belt too. And I think this originated from Batman. And I think this definitely fits his character very well as an explorer or professor. Now the front of the torso, and let's just spin his hair around again. The front of his torso is also really cool. Definitely a little bit more detailed. And it looks very, very good. I, again, like the little Clutch Powers badge and his jacket on the inside, the... Nice printing for the patches. It looks really, really cool, and I think it's a great minifigure. Very simple. There's no leg printing, as you can see, but it is a pretty cool minifigure for the most part. Now, we'll take a look here at the Pyro Snake minifigure next. This one is definitely my favorite out of the four we got in this set, and I like this little shield here. It's pretty simple, but pretty nice. We'll move this out of the way. And this little fire staff that comes with the minifigure too. Again, it's very simple, but I do like the design of it. And we'll talk first about the Pyro Snake's head. Uh, again, he does have transparent eyes, so that's one of the main gimmicks with the Pyro Snake. They do have a lot of transparent parts. You can see the transparent fire in the back and the transparent eyes too. And, you know, my only complaint with the eyes is in promotions and the set images, the eyes look like they're glowing. And that's not really the case in real life. In real life, you gotta sh figure out how to shine the light through both eyes, kind of like this. Then you'll get the light to kind of go through and the eyes will appear to be that color but this head mold is really really cool looking i love the idea behind this just the entire concept i love the transparent fire coming out and if we turn it on the back how it just kind of spreads over like that it's just a great idea and they've done a great job even this side view just looks truly menacing while this front view looks more like a traditional snake it looks really cool i also want to point out how the head just perfectly fits into this armor and we'll talk about the armor next this armor works perfectly and this armor is again truly wonderfully designed. I really love the idea behind this armor, how it kind of curves down like a V and really lets that head slide in there perfectly. And I love these shoulder pauldrons actually being snakes. It's a great idea. And again, this really does fit very well. 
Now this feels like something right out of the Pharaoh's theme, and I think that's definitely a compliment. I love the idea behind this, how they're kind of mixing these ancient snakes with the mummy-like vibe as well. And this torso is definitely a great idea. I love the different colored straps and the little splotches of brown that you can see on some of the straps, like this one right above my thumb there. And also how the fire is kind of coming out of the straps, and it goes over some straps, but it's also going under some straps. Looks very, very cool. Now the leg printing too is something that's very, very cool for this as well. I like the leg printing for this too. And again, just like how the torso printing, how the fire just kind of comes out there. He has back printing too, and this back printing again is very complex. I like all the little details with little circles on the brown straps. And it's a great minifigure. I also like that the gloves or the hands are also different, are also a different color, excuse me there. It's a nice little variation. And last but certainly not least, we have the Ice Samurai here. The Ice Samurai is also a great minifigure, and like Clutch Powers also has two heads, which we'll take a look at. I definitely love these new molds that they've done for these Ice Samurai. This appears to be a new mold, and love the whole icicle kind of aesthetic that it has. This staff is also very complex. I definitely like it too, and let's just get rid of it there. Love all the different pieces. And I knocked over his helmet too. Let's just put that back on. Helmet is also very cool. I love the contrasting colors of red and blue. And it just works together nicely. It works really well. And it's definitely not something you would expect, but it just works nicely. This head too, I really like the zombie-like feel that the Ice Samurai have. How the ice is kind of covering this one side. You can also see wrinkles. And if we turn it around, uh, a side of his face that isn't really covered by the ice. And again, you can also see his fur furious expression. It just really looks like a zombie and I love it. Now also, you have this nice looking icicle like pauldron. I love the whole icicle kind of feeling that this has and also the transparent arm too. That's awesome. I love that we're getting another transparent arm. Don't think we've seen that since Cole RX. Now the actual torso itself is something that's very very cool as well. The torso I love how it's basically an extension of the pauldron here and the ice is just kind of coming down there and also the red works very well. I like these little ridges, these little details. It just makes for a great minifigure and the leg printing too is something that's really cool too. I like the knee printing how the icicles kind of come out from there, and more traditional armor on the upper legs. In the back too, it's basically the same as the front, just more icicles and more of those lines. All in all, it looks very, very cool. Now we also have this little shrine here. There's not too much to say in this, since it's pretty small, but it's a nice little thing that's kind of the best of both worlds, uh, the best of the uh, ice and the fire. You have these new ice molds too that I talked about earlier. You have this shield, which is a weapon of the fire stakes, but with this little ice dot on there too. In the back, you also have fire. You have some nice little fire pieces too. This one is kind of a pyramid-like fire piece. Excuse me there. And this little fire staff too that can come off too and someone else can wield it. It's just a, it's a nice. It's pretty simple. And I like the contrasting colors again of this tan and this black. It looks very, very cool. Now moving on to the value of this set. This set was, I believe, $13. And with shipping, at least when I got it for shipping, it summed up to a total of $18 which is a lot. I mean, of course, if you buy it in a Lego shop, you won't have to pay for that shipping. But I feel like this set is a little bit too expensive and it could be a bit less considering we're not really getting too much for the actual build. When you have a set like the Throne Room Showdown, which is very similar to the set, they have a lot of a uh, good array of minifigures that are definitely worth getting all at once. And I think that's great about this set and the Throne Room Showdown too. But the difference with Throne Room Showdown is that it actually has a build. Throne Room Showdown is essentially $20. This is $12. I feel like this should definitely be less. Maybe this should be about $9 or $10. I don't think this should be $12. But all that being said, this set is awesome, and I'm really glad we got to get it. It's just a very nice, simple set, and for us folks in the U.S., it's a great preview of these minifigures since we don't officially have these minifigures and these sets yet. So it's a nice preview at the minifigures that we'll be getting, some of the sets and just the overall design style that season 11 sets have. So that's gonna be all for the set review. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, and if you had this set, be sure to leave a comment describing what you thought of this set, and of course, what you think of these minifigures too. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.